But let's uh, focus on the stock that's bouncing back today. That's Polycab. Remember, the stock was under big pressure yesterday owing to source space information that the income tax department has conducted searches at its premises and also found close to 1,000 crore rupees. The company, though, has issued a clarification and the stock is trading a little bit higher in today's uh, trade. But to understand what's the way ahead, uh, we have Deepak Shanoi of Capital Mind who joins us on the show. Hi, Deepak. Uh, good to see you in this morning. Well, Deepak, you know, y'all were one of the ones that were early into Polycap. Unfortunately, this news flow has come about. So could you tell us currently what is your position first on Polycap and then we'll get to some fundamental analysis. Uh, so this, uh, Nigel, was part of our research portfolio. Uh, it's not mm. part of what, what we have in the PMS. But uh, uh, in part of the research portfolios, we had Polycap since 2021, one of the portfolios. And uh, um, uh, that's done fairly well. It's gone up, I think, 150% even after the fall. But uh, you have to look at uh, what has happened recently as some kind of a fundamental change. There have been some... Uh, raids on the company in the end of December. Uh, they have uh, uh, apparently, after that, released a statement about a company in this space, which we are all assuming to be Polycap. Uh, that an IT, uh, the I mean, ministry actually, they, there was a PIB, Press Information Bureau, release ye yesterday about, or day before yesterday, I think it's about uh, um, this <clears throat> company uh, or, or a company that where they have uh, done some searches and found. Uh, a certain set of things which were concerning uh, for us in terms of if it was called a uh, polycab and you know uh, we're, we're making the uh, uh, perhaps wrong conclusion but we are making the conclusion that it is the same company and uh, that com these uh, uh, these uh, allegations of an IT raid and therefore finding certain findings uh, that there has either been revenue uh, suppressed or uh, uh, <clears throat> certain taxes not paid and that they have found, you know, what they have found is some four crores of cash, which, uh, you know, honestly, in a company that makes 18,000 crores is not very relevant. Mm -hmm. But we decided this is not something that we want to continue right now until the air clears. So we mm -hmm. have decided to uh, exit it ourselves. I think everybody will go take a personal view on this. It's very likely the stock bounces back. It's happened so many times in the past. Mm -hmm where IT rates happen and companies bounce back. So, uh, you know, Deepak, just wanted to your thoughts on a couple of things. One, that you decided to exit. Um, why exactly do you think? Is, is it because of the uncertainty of the I, I, IT rates? Is it because you sense that there is something beyond what meets the eye right now? What exactly caused you to pull this trigger? Because like you said, you know, a lot of companies get these rates. And through these periods, companies also eventually bounce back and turn out to be perhaps bigger wealth creators because the books have now been cleaned. So I, I just wanted to know what is it that caused that uh, trigger for you to actually pull the plug, so to say? Yeah, so <clears throat> it's part of a process. So you are kind of decide on what happens. So a lot of history here, many times uh, these uh, raids or these releases, you don't find them often about other companies, right? IT raids companies all the time. It doesn't go and make press releases about these things all the time. There are uh, sometimes vendettas at play. There are sometimes other factors at play which uh, cause these things to happen. And then therefore, uh, companies tend to, uh, in India at least, they tend to always operate uh, you know, uh, in these conditions. And uh, in the real estate space, for instance, which, which is where Polycab is in effectively, it's FMEG, uh, that space is riddled with people trying to transact in cash. You and me also, I mean, if, you, uh, if the, somebody goes to a person building a house and says, it'll cost you so much, and then they say, yeah, take cash. Why don't you? Uh, so some contractor will take cash. He'll try to pay that cash up to his distributor. This space is riddled with that. It is It is uh, uh, how the space is, uh, unfortunately. But <clears throat> having said that, we have noticed that if there are situations like this, uh, in the longer term, certain things tend to persist and you want that air cleared until the uncertainty is out, we'll be uncomfortable. We are, uh, therefore, we would take a call to say, let's exit. We've done this in the PMS also with companies like Siemens, where we were unhappy with the corporate governance. And we said, when the air clears, and the air has cleared, luckily, to the benefit of shareholders, in the previous instance, it has, in another previous instance, it, it had not cleared at all. So we will actually come back into the stock. Uh, on a more technical kind of a portfolio, we have no heart in the matter. The technicals or the algorithms, uh, the quantitative nature of those mm -hmm. algorithms will determine whether we get in back or not. So it is a very um, 
you know, it's not dependent on the corporate governance in those cases. So those mm-hmm. portfolios will act differently. I think people should take their own calls based on what this is. As I said, you know, stocks can bounce back. There were tax rates in another company like Manapuram a few uh, months back. It was at 110 at that time. Now it's at 170. Nobody's talking about those rates. So it's very likely that, uh, you know, stocks bounce back uh, uh, relatively fast. I think uh, everybody has to make their own decision on what they're comfortable yeah. with. And you should always not yeah. keep your, you should keep yourself open to new information that changes yeah. your view. Keeping heart out of it, just taking a call out there. Maybe the stock will bounce back. But Deepak, the call that you all have taken is you all don't want to be part of it till the dust uh, clears on this one. In the meanwhile, will you look at an alternate? You know, because there are a couple of other stocks in the same space that are also getting a knock. But there's no IT rate or anything that we've heard about. Do you think the entire sector is coming for a D rating? Or will you look at an alternate from the same space? So to be fair, uh, what has happened is the space is very interesting. The valuations have run up. And I mean, undoubtedly, Polycap has been very interesting from a fundamental basis. But the stock price has also run up quite a bit. Like I said, in 2021, it was at 1,800. Today, it's at... 4,000 after falling from 5,000, right? So it's gone mm-hmm. up considerably and earnings haven't you know, gone at that pace. So there will be some corrections when it, which happen in these cases on the basis of any reason that could come by. Tomorrow it could be a, you, you know, oh, there was an escalation in the Ukraine war, the stock will fall 20% and we'll be thinking what's the connection. But usually overvaluation or valuation uh, extremes tend to create these uh, uh, steep falls and sometimes steep rises as well. So we would not be worried about that as a, as a, as a, as a nature uh, when other stocks in the space fall. Uh, but in general, I think the space is interesting. We would be interested in getting back in uh, sometimes into the same stock or some one of the other companies in the space as well. Um, uh, given the scope of how much real estate seems to be growing, mm. I think, uh, you know, this space is going to see a lot of fundamental uh, upsurge so, in the few next few months, next few years. For the near term, if not Polycap, would you, uh, you know, look at allocating some capital to other players, say something like a Havel, Zarar Kabil, or, uh, you know... Uh, RR Kabil also has that outstanding... Uh, that also has that outstanding so, thing, so we'll, we'll watch out for that. But for now, yesterday, the pair trade, which was, uh, you know, long Havel, short Polycap. Uh, uh, so, I, are you look, thinking on those lines? Well, to be fair, I don't think Avals has performed as uh, well. KEI has. KEI has done a much better job. So, we, you know, that has been part of a portfolio earlier as well. I think uh, that might be, you know, more interesting. But uh, hmm. uh, uh, Havel's not yet until they show some kind of, uh, you know, the kind of growth Polycab or KEI have shown in the last few years uh, has been way beyond what, uh, you know, what we've seen in Havels. So I would, you know, not consider it from a fundamental perspective right now. We like growth and that growth has to be demonstrable. So um, not yet there in Havels. Just final uh, one uh, for you, Deepak. Uh, a lot of people, you know, who quote Warren Buffett, etc., say that be greedy when others are fearful. Apart from your own investment process, etc., would there be a case for a lot of people looking to buy this dip on uh, Polycap, would that be a suggestion? So I'll give you this, you know, Warren Buffett, I, I know the sayings are very nice and all that, but you know, <laughs> himself, when you look at his performance, at the other side, when he's been fearful, when everybody's been fearful. So he's gotten out of airlines at a time when everybody was fearful about airlines, and then those airlines bounce back. It's difficult sometimes to justify doing that in all situations. It is also useful to uh, have a contrarian thought process that says, I understand this is bad news, but I also understand that uh, the upside is better than the downside from here, and therefore I will take those calls. We've done that in the past as well. It's going to be an uh, individual call. I'm sure people are, of course, it's up three and a half percent today. So I'm sure people are buying it even now. I don't uh, see a dearth of, you know, or people saying this is doomsday. The stock would be down 90% if everybody thought it was bad. But uh, as much as that has been said, it is about experience, understanding. And uh, in certain cases, some people might actually do it just because, yeah, we like the underdog. India loves this story. Like if when Satyam mm. falls, uh, fell to six rupees, a bunch of people said we bought it at six rupees, knowing the corporate <laughs> governance failures at the time, and they made a lot of money. So I, I think uh, yeah. um, you know there is that underdog uh, feeling in in this stock as well. Sometimes risk reward works, right, Deepak? But and but also I think important to note is what is your risk appetite in the first place. I think 
that's how you can take a call. We appreciate you joining in, Deepak. Uh, wishing you a good Friday ahead and a good weekend as well. But we appreciate you joining in and giving us your views on Polycat.